Nick. Kellogg's house is this way. I uh, didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance, bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Won't be able to pick this. Hey, Valentine. Hold your horses. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this over. That's one heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? No way I could pick this. No luck? We'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Heard you're responsible for that new coat of green on the wall. Hey, nice. who wants to look beautiful? Hairstyles from across the Commonwealth. Did the Institute spy on your home? Read the public to find out. get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less? Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? I'm trying to track down a man named Kellogg. Interesting. That's the guy who bought the house in the abandoned West Stands. Had that kid. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving. Most folks are just looking. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Maybe we can reach an agreement? I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back.
Got the key? All right, let's head in. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. They seem small to you? Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Uh, nothing here. Did you check out that desk? I'm telling you, something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. rubbish. Switch. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Well, look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. What about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. Can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Get Kellogg, boy. Take me to that son of a bitch. Kellogg must have stopped here. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail.
building a collection or something? Sunlights. I'm telling you, that Kellogg's nose is second to none. Okay, boy, let's track him. like another one of Kellogg's pit stops. Keep your eyes open. Bloody bandages. Dog, Dog me pick up the set again? Okay, boy. Let's track him. Stout, one of his creature comforts. Oh, 
Okay, boy. Let's track him. Assailant, lower your weapons immediately. Damn. Tracking known mercenary. Exercise party, extreme man. caution. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. What happened here? Error. Operator deceased. Threat level Omega. He killed us. We're still on track. Hopefully, he's not much further. Another one of his stogies. this our man?
Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Town. Anything useful? Someone present attacking enemy. Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years.
never expected you to come knocking on my door. Gave you 50-50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. Hostile sensor reading detected. By order of the Pissed off, I get it, I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not gonna go your way.
movement detected. Curious. Got it. You got guts and determination. It's admirable.
nice. Okay. You made it. I'm just up ahead. My sins are standing down. Let's talk. Hey, Valentine. So, the Institute was the puppet master all along. Damn. Even I don't know where they are. They built me. <sighs> Bullshit. You're a synth, Valentine. Tell me what you know. You want to know the truth? The sad thing is I have no idea. None of us do. You think they'd cut me loose if I had something on them? <sighs> We're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back, bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way, talk this through. Diamond City it is. Hey, chin up. I know the night just got darker, but it won't last forever. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute. Oh boy. 
I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there, but to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg? Huh. What about him? He had to have a way in and out. But, well, we both know that angle is cut off. Yeah. Any other ideas, Nick? Talk about a literal dead end, huh? So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads, nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. If you want to head there together, just say so. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. 